is right there I can't deny the beauty before my eyes I can't help Kenya's unique cultural culture is a product of a long and often troubled history of Arab, Portuguese, and Swahili influences. The island is a beautiful place where life is lived at its own relaxed rhythm. Located off the coast of northern Kenya, Lamu has a trade history that dates back to the 14th century. This place is a major destination for anyone interested in East Africa's colorful heritage. A visit there can feel like stepping back in time. Lamu Island has been continuously inhabited for over 700 years since Arab traders established a port there in the 14th century. Centuries later, it became a major seaport for trade between the native Africans of the Swahili coast and visiting Arabs, Persians, Indians, and Europeans. During the slave trade years, Lamu Altan grew and at some point it was governed by the Sultan of Zanzibar. After Kenya's independence in 1963, Lamu's reputation as a tourist destination grew gradually after being named a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The best spot for a beach stroll is a couple of kilometers south of Lamu town on the eastern tip of the island where the channel opens to the ocean around the Shela village. You will find very few people here. This is a perfect place to relax in the afternoon and read a book. You've seen me fight, the demons I face. The people of Lamu are great believers in tradition and custom, a strong society they've built to respect their past. This is why Lamu's narrow streets remain unchanged. In the market and squares around the fort, life moves at the same pace as it always has. There are only two vehicles on the entire island. One belonging to the governor for official occasions and one is an ambulance. Hey. 
Only donkeys and though remain the main form of transport. Those safaris can take you beyond Lamu to the surroundings where isolated villages, ancient ruins, and a few luxurious and exclusive resorts lie hidden. Just across the channel from Shella, Manda Island provides the best spot for watching the wonderful Africans are setting behind the Lamu Island. The international trade with Omani Arabs, India and beyond brought goods, influenced building styles and also altered the cuisine of Lamu. For this reason, you must have a taste of the Swahili food before leaving the island. Take it from me, cause I'm the one who's giving it up. And I know it's been hard, but you've been in this far. Lamu is best accessed by air. They schedule flights daily from Nairobi, Mombasa, Diani Beach and Malindi. Although ferries arriving for passengers to either Lamu town or Shela. This idyllic island speaks to the heart and soul, and a trip to Lamu is a romantic experience that can become a lifelong affair. Naomi Wanjala, Teller Tell reports.